Hello everyone, I'm Wurjihan. I'm Susan. And um, we have, we've been married for three and a half years. Yep. I'm from uh, Northeast India. And I'm from California. Right now we are in Bangkok. We just came to realize Susan need to learn Danko. Well, we knew that a long time ago, <laughs> but we haven't we haven't done anything about that in a systematic way. Yeah. So to put into more specific, the problem is I I can speak to Susan parents like anytime because I can speak English. But when it comes to my parents, uh, whenever we call my parents or visit or visit I have to be the translator all or the time. your brothers or your sisters yeah let's see how how this would go our English our Danko lesson, lesson. <laughs> well so I've learned a little bit I can say 1 to 10 I can say Sun I can say mountain so I have learned a little bit but we haven't done consistent lessons because it's not the easiest when you are learning a language from your husband <laughs> or I'm sure your wife also. I think I think it's very very common like spouse cannot teach spouse cannot be a teacher to their spouse. To their spouse. Good. Once you are married it's very hard to teach, teach one each another. Yeah. yeah. We don't know why, but that's how it is. So you taught me one to ten maybe like two years ago. Mm -hmm. Can you just say, say one, to, one ten. to ten in okay. Danko? So those of you who are Danko, please don't laugh. Obviously I can't hear you laughing, but <laughs> no, no, they are I don't like when people laugh if I make a mistake. They are, they are good people, so don't worry. They're not going to laugh. They so, will okay. be rather help you. In okay, so here we go. Aka, Kani, Gatum, Mati, Panga, Taruk, Shini, Jushat, Jigo, Tara. One mm. to ten in that's, Danko. That's good. That's very good. Did I? Yeah. So can you... Do I get an A plus? <laughs> uh, I would give you an A plus. Okay. I think we need the... Whiteboard? Whiteboard. Give me a report card. Yeah. Uh, can you try from um, 11 to 15? Oh. Uh, so what is then? Tara. Tara. Oh, Tarada Akha. Ah. Gatum? Is Gatum two? Aka kani, mm -hmm. tarada kani, mm -hmm. tarada gatum, tarada mati, uh -huh. and tarada pala. Very good. So see, it's it's a very like a little bit ten. ten. What is what is da? Like, da tarada. means like n. Okay. So it's like ten, ten and, and one. one. Ten and two. Ten and two. Ten and, ten and three. three. Ten Which and four. Which makes more sense than English. So yeah. So okay, can you just count from one to fifteen? Maybe the and we, we should just enough. We Aka kani gatu mati panga taruk shini jisha jigo tara tarada aka tarada kani tarada gatum tarada mati tarada panga. Ooh. One to fifteen. Right, that's good. Move from numbers to vocabs. Let's start with love, because I think that's how. Okay. So, uh, do you still remember? Love? Um, I remember how to say I love you. Okay, how do you say that? Inali leishi. Okay. Is leishi love? So, no. yeah, it, it, it's so love is like, um, it's both noun and verb, verb right? Yeah, so, what is so leishi is a verb. The verb version of love? Yes. Okay. So, noun will be like leikashi. Leikashi. Ah. Oh, I've heard that a lot. Yeah, so I have already Lekushi. taught you. Okay. So leishi comes from leikashi. Okay. Right? Leikashi. Oh, I, I know um, shim. Shim is house. Mm -hmm. And shimkor is family, which makes a lot of right. sense because the house contains a family. Right. Um, and the meat. You guys often talk about meat in mm -hmm. the village. Oh. Ooh. Uh, her. Her is chicken. Her, very her. good chicken. I don't remember pork or pig. Hook. 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 Mm, oh. Like Thai version of six. six. Okay. So in Thai, you, if you want to say six, it's hook. Okay. And then, is that pig or pork? Okay. Pig. Pig. Uh -huh. What is pork? So pork is, so we put sa. Hook, hook sa. sa. Okay. Chicken. 
Hersa. Hersa. Right, so you know love, you know house, you know family. family. I know chicken. Chicken was chicken. Her. Her. And pig. Pig. Pork. Pig. Pig is hope. Hok and that's easy to remember. Pork and is then her hoksa. Hoksa. But um, give me beef. Say. Say. Is buffalo. Okay. Sa. Say sa. Miss. Okay, so beef. her sa, hoksa, say sa. Mm. So again, makes more sense than English when you have that sa at the end. It shows that it's meat, right? Right. Love it. So would would do you think fish is also a meat? Yes. But we don't fit. We don't say. So in fish, 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 yeah, we don't say like uh, kai sa. You just say kai. Kai. So that means fish. Which is another word that's easy to remember because that means who in Thai. Kai. Yeah. I mean, actually, you're supposed to say cry, but they just say kai. Hmm. They take out the r. Hmm. So yeah, kai means fish. Okay. But don't fish say fish and fish meat is kai. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm. Mountain. Mountains, because that's a, oh, that's important, yeah. right? So mountain is kapung. Very good. So kapung. Kapung. So K A P H U N G. Right. Kapung. Very good. Right. Um. Let Let's do a little bit of the family, and then maybe we can done. Okay. Oh, so goodness. family. Oh, uh, you've taught me these, but they're always hard to remember because they're so similar. Right. So how do you say father and mother? Avu. Avu. Uh, that's Nguhui dialect. See, I told you. It's tricky. Okay, I don't remember. So, father is Ava. Ava. So, that's easy. Ava. Mm -hmm. And mother is A V. That's what I was trying to say, wasn't it? But that U is, is a difficult sound. Right. Can you say it again? A V. A V. Mm -hmm. So it's like, like it's, it's like the low tone in so Thai. So you dropped it. Uh, you dropped and it's it. a funny vowel sound. Say it again. A v. A v. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I know mother-in-law. Okay. Ani. Very good. Ani. Which is another word in Thai. So maybe I'm <laughs> cheating a little bit. <laughs> but right. what is father-in-law? A wo. A wo. Mm -hmm. A wo. A wo. That's mm -hmm. easy. Right. A wo. A wo. Ani. Ani. A v. A v. Ava. Ava. Mm -hmm. Ava. 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 Dad and mom. Dad and mom. No. Mom and dad. Ava. Mom. Ava. Dad. Right. Okay. Okay. And and one more thing. So whenever you, whenever we speak to my parents at the end of the conversation, what do you say? Ina uh, Okay. Is that what I say? Uh -huh. Ina And then you also say like for good night. Oh, I don't remember. Mang. Mang. Pa. Pa. Mesa. Mesa. Mang pa mesa. Mang pa mesa. Mang pa mesa. So good. Um, okay, so let's let's do a quick review and then. Oh, please don't me don't make me count from one to fifteen <laughs> again. No, I will. I will. Okay, let's oh. go. Okay, I'll no, I'll not let you count one to fifteen, but I'll let you count one to ten first. Aka kani gatum mati panga taruk shini jishat jigo tara. Very good. That's easy. That's easy. But then when you get into a right. then that's why so I then slow down. Compound the two words, the two. Oh, you want me to do eleven, 11 to fifteen? fifteen. Uh huh. That's how it is. <sighs> okay. Tarada aka tarada kani tarada gatu mm -hmm. tarada mati mm -hmm. tarada panga. See, just requires easy. thinking. I it, one to ten, I don't have to think right. too much, but so, eleven to fifteen, I have to think. <laughs> so yeah, you just have to compound it like. Yes, it's but simple. Very good. It's All right. Simple. So we'll, we'll do with a, a vo vocab. So what is love? Oh. How do you say I love you? Ina lileshi. Very good. Um. Oh, sorry. Le Lekashi. Lekashi. Okay, Le it's okay. Okay. Um, what about house? Shim. Very good. Shim core. Family. Shim core. Okay. And what about mountain? Kapung. Very good. Now we'll talk about food. Um, what about chicken? Her. What about chicken meat? Hersa. Uh, fish? Kai. Mm -hmm. What about pig? Ho. What about pork? Hoksa. What about buffalo? Say. Say. 
And then beef is sesa. And right? Beef is sesa. sesa. Very good. I got this. And one thing that's um that makes learning Warchi's language harder is that it doesn't come from Latin, obviously, or um, Spanish, so I can't um, use any word roots to point back and, oh, okay, I know why that number is that because of this. So it's a completely foreign language. Right. I just want to mention another issue here is that Warchi Han is from the Dunkel community, which is a sub-tribe under the Nagas, but um, each village has their own dialect of their language. Right. So a lot of times in the village they're speaking his village dialect. And so I'll hear those words and ask, what is that? And he'll say, oh, that's that means this, but it's Ngahui. And I've, I want to learn Dankul so that I can speak to a wider community. And then if I'm able to learn Dankul, then I want right. to go down and learn your dialect. <laughs> Yeah, I that think, makes it more tricky. I think, yeah, because maybe Tanku is more safer and then you can speak to more people. Yeah. And my parents definitely can speak Tanku. Right. And then, and if I'm able to do right. that... Maybe you can learn together with our kids in the future. <laughs> I want to know a little bit more before that because I don't want to feel... <laughs> All right. The way that I've learned other words is just by asking Warji and asking um, his brother in the village. So instead of him telling me what he wants me to learn or what he thinks I should learn, I've just asked, okay, um, what is sun? What is mountain? What is pork? Because I, some of these words, um, especially food words, I hear them use a lot when I'm in the village. So I'll hear it a lot and I'll say, oh, what is that? Um, so I found that's the best way for me to learn. And same with Thai, just listening to Thai and hearing the same words over and over. And that's when I ask and then that's when I learn. Mm -hmm. So thanks guys for watching. watching. Um, maybe we want to continue with the learning, More right? Lessons. Yeah, yeah, I really need to learn because um, it's inconvenient to have to rely on someone else to translate for me mm -hmm. and if I want, if especially if we're on the phone and I want Warchi to tell his parents something, um, I can't tell them directly. I have to say, can you please tell them this? Um, now, at least I have the ability, at least there is someone to, to translate, but <clears throat> in this kind of relationship with your in-laws, you want to be able to speak directly. Right. Especially if I want to plan something for you or surprise you. I can't unless I go through your siblings and then what if the surprise <laughs> is spoiled? So I think it's really necessary um, that I take the time and learn this language. Right. And maybe like we'll ask, we'll also take their help. Maybe like they can... If they have any advice or yeah, like like, tips. Please feel free to suggest us a topic in the topic that we can also learn. Well, we me learn. Yeah. Use, teach, study. So yeah. And also um, please will be uh, please subscribe because we want to come up with more content of this kind Thank thanks you. for watching my first dango lesson <laughs> it's kind of like not dango lesson no it's laughing kind of review no laughing that's your that's your lesson <laughs>